Equestrians and welcome back to my channel. It's actually been quite a while since I sat in front of the camera. I don't want to go too in depth on things because I want to keep this channel nice and positive but I have been having some issues with body confidence and, um, and things like that and I've actually been avoiding filming because of it but now I am in a much better headspace and I feel ready and raring to go. I have a really really exciting video for you guys today. It has been requested a few times before. You guys have enjoyed my try on hauls in the past but one of the big things that cropped up was price and I do understand that a lot of equestrian brands are quite you know pricey and stuff like that. So it's been requested to do a plus size haul on a budget which I went into this feeling like I wasn't really gonna have much success but actually surprisingly and great for you guys I have quite a few things here to show you so that's super exciting and I cannot wait to get into this so let's not hang about let's get into the video the first items I'm gonna show you are both from Mountain Warehouse which isn't an equestrian brand but I stumbled across uh, their website and I just loved what I was seeing basically and a lot of it is for outdoor sports anyway so I thought why not give it a go everything was so reasonably priced as well I actually the two items that I'm going to show you today I got in uh, they were in a sale so I actually only spent I think they were about £12 each which is insane once you see them so I only spent like £24 for these two items which of course is a bargain really when you compare what I've got to what the equestrian equivalent would probably cost. So let's get into it. The first item is this. Once again guys, I am trying to branch out of my comfort zone and get some different colours. I have recently added Lumio Corn Blue to my uh, Matchy Matchy collection. I will be doing another Matchy haul soon because my collection has changed recently. I've got rid of a few things, I've added a few things. I will do an updated Matchy Matchy collection video very soon. But this is the perfect match for Corn Blue. I mean, it is on the dot. I just spotted it and I thought, yeah, that will be, you know, that will be a close match. It is a perfect match. I'll insert a picture or a clip if I can just to show you how close a match they actually are. This is, I think this is called like a mid layer, it's not quite a base layer. Um, you see it's got logo there and a little one at the back. It feels really, really lovely quality. Nice long sleeves. It's got like, can you see how it's got like a stripey kind of design to it? And it's tapered in. Hello. <laughs> it's got the seams down either side there if you can see, so it slurps you in. We like a bit of that when we're plus size, don't we? And it does zip all the way down. Can you see? So, very good quality zip. Hold on. Easy peasy. <laughs> Lovely. And it's just kind of the same really soft material all the way around. As soon as I held this, I was like, oh my god, the quality is ace. I cannot wait to try it on. The other good thing about uh, Mountain Warehouse was the fact that the sizes went up to like size 24 size 26 even in some cases so definitely you know a great range of sizes to choose from I got this in a size 20 so yes let's try it on guys <laughs> okay guys as usual I am in front of my mirror because I think you know it gives you a good idea of the back as well as the front I have left my t-shirt on that I was wearing my lovely DVR equestrian t-shirt if you haven't seen that vlog you can go and see uh, all about my DVR equestrian clothes that were kindly gifted to me but I've left it on because this is designed to be a mid layer so I wanted to see how it would fit over another layer of clothes and I'll just zip it up. As you can see it is a lovely fit on me. The arm length is perfect, it fits really nicely around my bust which is often a problem for me um, but yeah really really liking this actually really love the color like I say it is going out of my comfort zone a little bit I love the length I think you know it's a decent length it comes down quite far on me again length is often the problem for me fits me absolutely perfectly on the arms so this is a size 20 which I would say is literally true to size because I am size 20 so fits me like a glove I think it hugs me literally in all the right places I'll just give you a little spin <laughs> It would be nice to have pockets on something like this I think that would be maybe my only critique would I tuck this in I don't think I would you know 
as some of you are aware, <laughs> I have become quite fond of the tuck-in, but I think because it's got the zip, I don't know if it would look right or not. Do you know what? For you guys, I'll do it. It actually does look quite nice. It's funny, I always thought that the tuck-in kind of drew attention to this area, but actually now, I looked at some footage I did kind of recently where I wore my digital horse shirt with these House of Hooves leggings, <laughs> which were from a previous vlog as well. I did some clips with the shirt out first, and it's quite a long shirt, you know, it covers my bum, so it's a good length and everything. But I wore it untucked, and then I watched the footage back, and actually I thought, like, I really didn't like it. And I filmed it again tucked, and I much preferred it. I thought, you know, I think it's personally quite slimming now. You'll catch me like this down the yard most of the time now, with my tucked in look. <laughs> I'm a, uh, yeah, I, I really like it. Anyway, kind of off topic of the actual item, but... I really have nothing but positive things to say about it. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's super soft. It fits me absolutely perfectly. Great length, great on the arms. Massive thumbs up. I can see this being like my new favorite place to order things from, but let's try the next item on because it may change my mind. I don't think it will, but it might. <laughs> the next item again is from Mountain Warehouse. This is a burgundy, what do we call it? Technical. Uh, top. So it's great for the summer. As you can see, if I hold this up for you, hello! <laughs> it's got um, mesh, so it's nice and um, airy. Got a good airflow there. So across the top, it says quick drying is the cool wicking, and that's it. <laughs> it also has UV protection, which for someone with fair skin like me, obviously very, very handy in the summer. And yeah, I got it in this kind of burgundy colour. If I remember correctly, I actually got a size 24, yeah. So I got a size 24 because the 20 and the 22 were sold out and I just really loved the colour and I just wanted, I really wanted it and I thought it would be a great addition to the haul. They did have different colours for this. I can't remember if they had different colours in the last item or not. Um, but yeah, this feels <laughs> amazing quality again. Honestly, I'm blown away by the quality of Mountain Warehouse and I think I'll be ordering a lot more stuff from them. It may be a bit big on me, but I would rather it be a little bit loose, be really nice and airy in the summer. And you know me guys, there's always a reason for me buying a certain colour. This does indeed match uh, Lemure Mulberry, it's quite a close match. And um, yeah, that's the reason I bought that because Mulberry has uh, wangled its way into my collection as well. I don't know where they keep coming from. I'm like a crazy cat lady, but for saddle pads, like strays just keep finding their way into my collection. Or at least that's what I keep telling myself. So let's try this on. So I got this in a size 24, and actually I would say it's about a perfect fit. It's kind of loose-ish. So I would say that their size 22 probably would have been like my perfect size. <clears throat> but compared to the first item with how true to size that was, I'm actually a little bit surprised by how small, it's not small, but how small this is in comparison of sizes. So perhaps ordering off Mountain Warehouse, it'll be worth looking at the size charts, which I didn't do. Um, <laughs> but also like, yeah, just being careful with the sizing because it looks like it may vary across the site. But saying that, <clears throat> it fits me beautifully across my shoulders, on my arms. I think it's a really nice length. I love the colour. I love the length on my body. I think this is again something that will look better tucked in, but I wanted to show the length. It is kind of baggy on me, I suppose. So, and the other thing is it is like super stretchy. So, like really stretchy. So if you were a size 24, I reckon this would fit you, but it would be fitted fitted. So if you prefer a looser fit like I do, I probably would have gone size 22, I think, would have been my, my ideal size. But I'm going to tuck it in because I have a feeling it's going to look better tucked in. So here it is tucked in. Do you see what I mean by how slimming it is? On me anyway, I think it just like hugs me at the waist and just makes me look a little less boxy. I just feel like I'm a giant rectangle <laughs> normally, but this kind of actually gives me a bit of shape. Um, anyway, back to the top. I really like it. It is so super comfortable. Um, really light and airy, so with the weather we have been having here in the UK, I know it's not hot compared to some countries, but for us poor Brits that are used to rain and snow and freezing cold temperatures, it has been hella hot, so this is ideal for being down the yard while it's warm. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints. Like I say, all I would 
recommend is just checking the size charts, which Ray did not do. <laughs> but yes, for you guys, I would just recommend checking the size charts. And um, other than that, very, very pleased and definitely a place that I would love to order more clothes from in the future. Okay, on to the next items. And the next few items are actually from a store that I found through Facebook. A few weeks ago, I started getting tagged in Facebook Lives. They've become really popular. A lot of like tax shops are doing uh, Facebook Lives now to get rid of excess stock and stuff like that, or if they're getting new stock in. And they'll do auctions sometimes where you can get items for really, really good deals. Or they do like buy it now nights where they're kind of selling off stock that they've got, or they might just have some items that they're very kindly offering at a reduced price just to kind of sell them through. It's really engaging, really fun. I highly recommend that you do have a look at some of the lives. I got these from KLD Equestrian, which I now know are based in Essex, which is quite funny. Some of these items have been sat in my wardrobe for quite some time um, because I've been saving them. I wanted to keep them like nice and new to show them to you, but some of the items I have already worn and washed, but I think that's a good thing because as lovely as it is to see an item when you first get it, it's also good to see how it wears and everything. So there's kind of a mix. Some of them I haven't worn yet, some of them I have. But these items I have not worn yet. And the first item is this. <laughs> it is a base layer. Um, is it a base layer? I think it might be a mid layer actually because it's got the zip all the way down. But it feels like um, base layer material. It's not as thick as the Mountain Warehouse one. And once again, can we guess what matchy set this matches? This is to go with uh, Lemure Sorbet because Sorbet has the khaki green trim around the ears. And then we've of course got the sorbet here to match and I love that it tapers in I think that's going to be really really slimming actually so yeah you've got the good quality zip that goes all the way down Do -do -do. Ta -da. you've got this really cool star mesh on the back I'm not sure it actually does much but it looks cool I'm not quite sure what the purpose is um, this is in an XXL which I believe is an 18 to 20 maybe I'm not quite sure this is a Harry's Horse item, which I've never tried before. Um, it's got this really nice um, print there in gold. Shiny, I love shiny things. Shiny things make me happy. <laughs> so yes, I'm really excited about this and I think it's gonna be such a nice match for Sorbet. So super excited to try this on. Okay guys, again, because I'm not sure if this is a base layer or a mid layer, I thought I would just wear a top underneath just to see how it fits with that extra layer underneath it if it is meant to be a mid layer. The other thing I forgot to say is that it zips up from the bottom as well. That's another reason why I put another layer on because I feel like and it's a good zip as in it's easy to zip i just have a feeling that if you're riding and you don't have another layer on underneath that zip may creep up <laughs> over your belly but let's just zip this up how about that it fits it is fitted don't get me wrong it felt like a little bit tight over the chest but it's very very stretchy really good length on the arms really good around the top of my arms i'm really impressed with all these products so far guys like normally i don't feel so like i feel like i can dance i can jive which is what you know i like to do on my horse <laughs> but yes i absolutely love the color actually i'm really happy with this love the zip like i say it does come up here so that's really nice if you're on your horse with jackets and things like this if you're on your horse and you want a bit of i don't know breathing space whatever you can do that. I feel like this is quite slippery, <laughs> slippery material. It doesn't quite come down as much as I would like it because my belly is kind of hanging out the bottom of it. And I do prefer tops just to come down over my belly. Just so if I am walking around doing stuff and it starts riding up, it's not gonna ride up too far. I suppose that didn't really move too much, but again, I'm gonna tuck it in for you guys so we can see the difference. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think it looks nicer. Like I say, I love how it shapes me tucking it in but i'm not sure how i feel about the zip like going down into a tuck-in look and also then you've got like in this case you actually have foam pockets and if you tuck in you can't really like it gets stuck you can't i mean you can use it kind of but i don't think it's designed to be tucked in so yes i do think it is meant to be worn out like this we've got really decent pockets this is so comfy oh my god you guys 
and it's not too like heavy weight i think this would be nice like if you've been wearing a t-shirt most of the day and you've gone down the yard late and it starts getting a bit chilly this is just the perfect like mid layer to put on or yeah just to casually wear around the yard on a bit of a cooler day really really love it love the color another big thumbs up from me this is um very very positive so far guys okay we seem to have a theme going on here i, I didn't realize that i had bought products from the same uh brand but this is also harry's horse and it's in an xxl how nice is this i haven't actually bought like an equestrian jacket for myself in such a long time but yeah i fell in love with the colors i love the gray down the sleeves it also has da -da -da -da, thumb holes is anyone obsessed with thumb holes like i love thumb holes in a jacket is it just me am i a bit weird yes we know i'm a bit weird but <laughs> yeah again tape it in here so it slurps you in so hopefully make you look a bit slimmer we've got pockets there it's nice for your thumb it feels like it's very lightweight but it feels like it'll be quite warm like the sleeves as well are stretchy which is one of the things that attracted me to this so let me try and show you Ooh. <laughs> let me try and show you how you see how stretchy the fabric is and i like the thought of that because a lot of jackets and things tend to be tight on the top of my arms so i thought it would be uh, nice to try see how it fits on the larger ladies but I'm super, super excited to try this on because I think it is stunning and it has been stuck in my wardrobe and I've been dying to try it. So let's get it on. <laughs> okay, next item is this stunning jacket. And the first thing I've noticed putting this on, once again, leaving a top on underneath because this is designed to go over the top of something else just to see how it fits, even though this is pretty lightweight. So, but yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to see. First thing I've noticed is the sleeves are really long, like really long. <laughs> but um actually when you put your thumbs in the thumb holes it does kind of keep them in place and i personally am one who prefers longer sleeves over shorter sleeves especially like in the winter it's kind of like if you forget your gloves you've got a bit of protection on your hands you know what i mean this also has a double zip so this zips from the bottom <laughs> it is a bit tight over the bust Ugh. But I don't mind that, actually. Plenty of room around the neck. I love how high this is, actually. This is just like such a handy jacket to have down the yard because I feel like it would suit most weathers. Um, I don't know how waterproof it is, though. <laughs> but in terms of keeping yourself warm, you know, like if it's not freezing cold, but it's not really like warm either. I think this is like the perfect in between jacket. I personally don't think I would be able to fit many layers underneath it, but I could probably fit another like big coat on top of it or could have some thermals quite easily underneath it. This is kind of like, you know, if you wear like a long sleeve top with a gilet, that's what this feels like. This feels like a gilet and this just feels like you're wearing, well, it is kind of like lycra material. So perhaps like some kind of long sleeve sports top, but it is still a nice thick pad material. So it's still nice and warm. The arms are so comfortable. I've got loads of room. I don't feel like I'm being sucked in anywhere. I forgot to say that it does have this little keeper at the top for your zip, so it's not gonna like dig into your neck, which is nice. And yeah, I just think this is really flattering. This just is quite slimming and really nice. But let me have a look at the pocket. Oh yeah, this is great. I think this is my favorite so far. I absolutely love this. I really, really love this. I don't want to take it off this is my favorite if this is going to be hard to beat really really like it i don't even know i don't know what else to say just massive massive thumbs up for this the next item are some leggings so these i think these are harry's horse as well yeah so these are harry's horse too they're it says d46 i'm not quite sure i think these were an 18. they're gray they've got their full seat They've got these nice sticky bumps. Ooh, look sparkly. <laughs> they are tapered at the bottom. They've kind of got the stretchy material at the bottom that cuffs in, which is nice. And there's a cheeky little foam pocket at the back, which is unusual. So yeah, I'm not used to, uh, to seeing that. These are quite thick. These are actually, I think they were advertised as winter breeches. They do feel really thick and really sturdy. They've got some stretch to them, but not all that much. So I'm actually, 
not sure these are going to fit me because I am sort of more of size 20 but a lot of the stretchy kind of leggings do fit me but it'd be interesting to see and uh, that's what we're here for so yeah let's try these on for size this is the first problem piece <laughs> so overall doesn't look too bad does it the leggings appear to fit they are bunching around the knee a little bit i think i may have been bitten by a spider anyway the legs fit me really well but <laughs> this is so embarrassing i don't even want to show you guys but as you can probably see, it does not fit me along the waistband. I don't get this waistband. It's really slim compared to the rest of the outfit. Like, it really digs into my tummy. If I would love for these to be more high rise so that they kind of finish up here. That's just my personal preference with leggings and things. So it's a bit annoying that they're so, I'd say they're mid rise, but yeah, that just isn't attractive, is it? If you're wearing a tight shirt and you just can't, you can't ride in that. That is so uncomfortable. I'm moving on. Sorry guys, it's enough from me. It feels super quality, but they just don't fit. Last thing from KLD Equestrian, and this was actually, so the last two items that you've seen from them were actually the first two items that I bought from them. And uh, this one is like a polo, I guess. I really love this color, it's so pretty. I bought this again to match sorbet. Um, but looking at it now, it is very peachy, so I'm not quite sure what set this would go with, but it is very stretchy, really stretchy, and super lightweight, really soft. It's not like the Mountain Warehouse one that's aerated, it's just really quite thin, so you can kind of still see me through it, I suppose. Um, it also has vents at the back to help keep you cool, some really nice detailing there on the sleeve with a little a little button. This is HKM, so this is a different brand this time. It says black and white on the there, the little logo, which is partly embroidered, partly printed. So the text is embroidered, but the rest of it is a print. You've got the pop buttons there. I think this is actually meant to be a show shirt because they did do the same thing in white. And uh, yeah, it's kind of got like See when it's done up, it looks like a show shirt, but it's quite, I think it'll be quite nice just to wear in the summer down the yard. This is very much out of my comfort zone color wise, but I really liked it. And yeah, I can't wait to try it on, so let's get it on. Sorry guys, we've lost a little bit of light because I have in fact been bitten by a spider. I don't know how clear that is on. It looks a lot better than it did earlier. I'll pop a picture in. I've just been on the phone to NHS 111 just to check that you know, I, just to be sure because I've never been bitten by a spider before. Anyway, <laughs> I'm soldiering on for you guys. Not sure how well the lighting's going to play out, but here's the next outfit. I think the spider was hidden in one of the uh, items that I was trying on. But this is the next one. It's the peach sort of shell shirt, which is so nice. It does kind of... I'll come up a bit closer. As you can kind of see, it does cling to like the fat bits you can kind of see the cellulite bits in your skin which isn't great but um as a shell shirt i'm not too bothered about that because you would wear a jacket over it anyway but it's really nice and comfortable fits me lovely on the sleeves really loving the little details on the sleeve i think that's quite a nice feature like the length as well there's nothing to sniff at with that and here we have it tucked in i think that looks really nice actually with a nice pair of like white breeches with a nice shell jacket over the top I think it would look really nice. One of the other things I noticed actually that I really liked about it is that it has two poppers instead of one at the top. So if you wanted it, like I've got it on the, on the looser setting, but you can tighten it as much as you want or have it a bit looser. It's up to you, I'm gonna leave it now. I'll leave it open now. But yeah, nothing to complain about really. It's super comfortable, super soft, nice length. Fits lovely on my arms, nice around my neck. The only thing is it does kind of show off a few of the niggly bits that we all complain about but overall I'm really impressed. So now we're actually delving into some items that I ordered um, before lockdown and sadly because of Covid um, the delivery was delayed on these and I only got them sort of once lockdown had lifted but these products are from a company called Hot to Trot Equestrian. Peps and Hazel and myself are very proud ambassadors for Hot to Trot. The great thing about Hot to Trot is that they offer not only adult sizes, but they do kids sizes. They do so many different designs, unicorns, tractors, dinosaurs, space 
themes, the really nice marble, which I think is super smart and flattering. So yes, definitely worth checking them out. These are their new leggings. They actually go up to a size 20, which is really exciting. And that is what I've got myself. So you can see there, size 20. Got your washing details in there. We've got the Hot to Trot logo on the back there. And once again, going out of my comfort zone, I ordered grey with um, like a pink marble effect. How pretty is that? <laughs> it is tapered at the bottom. We've got some very funky star full seat sticky bun there. Nice stretch, <laughs> which we like. And we have fun pockets either side. So we've got a plain pocket that side. And then on this side, we have a pocket with, <laughs> if I can get it, there you go, a pocket with the logo. So I actually got three pairs. <laughs> These were really reasonable. I can't really remember it. I ordered it that long ago, but I got three pairs. One is in the wash, so I can't show you right now, but I will try and insert a clip of those ones uh, once they're cleaned and everything. As some of you may know, I have a dinosaur matchy set from Hot to Trot and I had to get the matching leggings. They do also do base layers, but I was a little bit worried that a size 20 base layer wouldn't fit me from them. I don't know, I'm still very tempted to order one. But yeah, you can see the dinosaur print there. Very cute. The little pocket there, the foam pocket, the sticky bum. So it's all the same design really. This is also a size 20. There's the logo at the back. Nice and stretchy. <laughs> I haven't worn the grey ones out yet, but I have worn these. These have been washed and worn a few times and as you can see, they are holding up really, really nicely. The design still looks great. The only tiny bit of criticism I have for these is that the print isn't quite the correct colour match for the saddle pad. This is kind of a little bit bluey toned and the other one is quite orangey, like a warmer tone. But it's been produced on different types of material, so that may be why. I'm not really 100% sure, but that's just one of those things that I personally would have liked a little bit different, but I still absolutely love these. And I'll try and put some pictures or videos of me wearing this with my matchy set as well, because it's super cool. I'm very excited to get them on and show them to you guys. Obviously I have tried some of them on already and I do know that they fit, but um, let's get them on and I'll take you for a spin round on them so you can actually see how they fit and how they look and everything. These are so cute. Um, the only thing I would say about these is I find the waistband a little bit tight, but overall fits really nicely. I think like it's true to size 20. It's just that I've got this bummy tummy going on, which does make it hard to pull some riding leggings over this bit, but I am working on that. So let's not worry about that too much, but yeah, love the design. I think they're really flattering actually. I'll show you the back. Love that you've got two pockets either side and uh, I don't really have much else to say. I think they're a little bit baggy around the ankle for me. And I've kind of talked to you about how the design is slightly different in color. Um, this is kind of more cool toned than the saddle pad. But overall, very nice. I think they're slimming. I think they're comfortable. Thumbs up for me. We are on to the last item. And it is, in fact, the cheapest item. The first place that came to mind for me when someone mentioned a budget haul was Primark because Primark do lots of reasonably priced clothes and I thought I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get something from there and I did get two items again one of them is in the wash I got two t-shirts I've got this lovely like blush pink color which I actually got to match my black fort equestrian leggings which were in the first try and haul that I ever did and I will be showing them together so you can see how well they match because I have already worn them so I know that they match and I know that they fit which is a bit you know of a spoiler alert. I also did get a mint green one to match the other black fort leggings that I have and again it is a super match. I will try and get some for anything that like isn't here I will try and get some clips or videos and insert them in somewhere so you can get an idea but yes let's try the final piece on. Okay my lovelies on to the last couple of items and I've got the hot to trot leggings on in grey and marble pink. I'll just get a bit closer here to show you the back. I actually really love these. These are very feminine for me, 
but um, actually I really really like them. Again, I just find these leggings to be really flattering. I think they kind of have the seams and everything in the right places just to, I don't know, just to complement the, the curvy figure. <laughs> and then I've paired it with the uh, two pound top <laughs> from Primark, which is pretty insane. I think they actually go really nicely together. So yeah, that concludes this uh, try on guys. Aside from the, uh, the spider bite, <laughs> I think it's been pretty successful. Highly recommend these hot to trot riding leggings. Super, super comfy. You have so many designs. I can't even tell you how many amazing designs they have to choose from. So highly recommend you go and check them out. To Sarah, hats off. I think your designs are amazing. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me on the team. Okay guys, so that concludes this rather gigantic haul actually. I'm quite pleased that I was able to find quite a few items that I hope you guys are gonna really enjoy. I really enjoy all of these items, aside from the leggings. That's just unfortunately not an item that works for my shape at the moment. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. If you would love to see something like this again, or if you have any other ideas for videos that you would like to see from me, do leave a comment. I do appreciate comments and as you can see, I take your ideas on board and I do try my best to bring ideas to life so that you guys can enjoy them. And uh, I hope this helps you kit yourself out with some really nice clothes that are really reasonably priced. I hope you can find some bargains and everything. So aside from my little spider bite incident and still waiting for the NHS doctor to call me back, I'm really pleased with all the items I've tried. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe because it really does help the channel out. If you've enjoyed it, do feel free to share. Um, I would love for more people who are plus size to be able to find my channel and be able to find clothes that fit them nicely and everything. People have messaged me saying how much they appreciate being able to see these items on a plus size person, model, whatever you want to call me. I'm definitely not a model. I would like to help more people out and it would really help me out if you guys could share and bring more people along to join the Equestrian family. Until the next one guys, I'll see you all later. Bye.